Right back here in West Alabama, it was a big weekend for a group of veterans. They took a special trip to Washington, D.C. WVUA anchor Terry Brewer joins us now with more. Terry. Thank you, Danny. About 60 World War II veterans traveled on the third and what's likely to be the final Tuscaloosa Rotary Honor Flight. Once again, WVUA was proud to travel with the veterans to bring you a look at their emotional day. Honor Flight is a national program that takes veterans to see the memorials dedicated to their service in Washington, D.C. It's a day trip from Tuscaloosa to Washington and back. They get a hero's welcome along the way, and it's all at no cost to the veterans. The Rotary Club of Tuscaloosa organized Tuscaloosa's three flights. Together, those flights have taken nearly 250 veterans to Washington. The members of Saturday's flight say it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I'm amazed. Everybody that met us, they have saluted us, shook our hands. Oh, I'll never, I'll always remember that special, this is a special moment in my life. I read an article before coming here that over a, a thousand World War II veterans die every day. And I have to tell you, my heart skipped a beat because my father is in that category. But it did help to really highlight how special this event was for the two of us to have the chance to come here today. When the veterans touched down at Bama Air Saturday night, they returned to a hero's welcome, complete with patriotic music, a water salute, and cheering family and friends. Now look for more coverage of Honor Flight at 5, 6, and 10 this evening. You'll also see and hear how the April storms impacted the veterans and the day in Washington. Danny. The third and what is likely to be the final Tuscaloosa Rotary Honor Flight lifted off this weekend from Bama Air. Once again, WVUA was proud to travel along with this group of World War II veterans to bring you a look at their emotional day. Honor Flight is a national program that takes veterans to see the memorials dedicated to their service in Washington, D.C. The veterans travel from Tuscaloosa to Washington and back all in one long day. They get a hero's welcome at every stop, and it's all at no cost to the veterans. The Rotary Club of Tuscaloosa organized Tuscaloosa's three flights. The veterans say they were impressed by the World War II Memorial and the welcome they received there. I think it's an absolutely appropriate monument. I particularly like these bronze plaques that depict some of the several actions. I see, I see some of the bronze plaques that just look like they they took a picture of what we were doing and, and put it in bronze. I, it's amazing. And to see the flock of people offering welcome and, and getting along with each other, it's a picture of what the United States is all about. Some new additions to the experience. Former Senator Bob Dole, a decorated World War II veteran himself, was at the memorial to greet the veterans. The veterans also received support from greeters aware Tuscaloosa is recovering from the tragic April 27th storms. They met the veterans with signs saying T-Town never down. One of the veterans lost his home in Forest Lake to the storm. He and his wife were in the house when it happened. The storm hit and the roof flew off and the walls all disappeared and we walked out. I told Martha, I said, Honey, we're not hurt. This is nothing but material stuff here. We'll come back. Saturday's honor flight was actually rescheduled from May 2nd because of the April 27th tornadoes. When the veterans touched down at Bama Air Saturday night, they returned to a hero's welcome, complete with patriotic music, a water salute, and those cheering family and friends. The three Tuscaloosa flights together have taken nearly 250 veterans to Washington. You'll see more from the day in Washington tonight on WVUA News at 6 and 10. The third and what's likely to be the final Tuscaloosa Rotary Honor Flight lifted off this weekend. Once again, WVUA was proud to travel along with this group of World War II veterans to bring you a look at their emotional day. Honor Flight is a national program that takes veterans to see the memorials dedicated to their service in Washington, D.C. The veterans travel from Tuscaloosa to Washington and back all in one long day. They get a hero's welcome at every stop and it's all at no cost to the veterans. The Rotary Club of Tuscaloosa organized Tuscaloosa's three honor flights. The veterans and their families say they were impressed by the World War II Memorial and the welcome the veterans got throughout the trip.
To see the flock of people offering welcome and, and getting along with each other, it's a picture of what the United States is all about. Well, I have gotten a more deep appreciation for not only my father-in-law's time in the military, but just through his stories for him, for the person himself. I loved him before today, but now I appreciate him all the more. It felt really good seeing him being honored when he stepped out of the plane and just people would come up and thank him wherever he went for his service. On our flight, br three brought some new additions to the experience. Former U.S. Senator Bob Dole, a decorated World War II veteran himself, stopped by the memorial to greet the veterans. Supporters also met the veterans with signs saying T-Town never down in recognition of the storm recovery in Alabama. The veterans returned to a hero's welcome at Bama Air Saturday night, complete with patriotic music, a water salute, and cheering family and friends. A special thanks to the Rotary Club of Tuscaloosa for taking WVUA along for the honor flight. Definitely a special day, Terry Brewer and Jerome Davis going along on that trip. Um, anchor Terry Brewer and photographer Jerome Davis. Yeah, how so about that? you'll be seeing more stories to come. Of course. Back here in West Alabama, supporters and loved ones of West Alabama World War II veterans flocked to Bama Air to give some deserving people a hero's welcome. It was all a part of the third Tuscaloosa Rotary Club honor flight. About 60 veterans took part in today's honor flight to get a first-hand look at the memorial dedicated in their honor. In all, nearly 250 veterans have gotten to take part in the honor flight. WVUA spoke with some family members of veterans about why seeing their loved ones get this kind of welcome is so special. It means a lot because you get to go and see and know what the United States is doing for them too because they serve the country well. They talk like he has had a ball since he's been up there. And I'm so proud. Just, just can't wait till it gets home and tell me all about it. He wanted to go last year, and of course he's had some health problems, feeling too good and that, so I was glad he got to go this year. And WVUA was honored again to be a part of the Tuscaloosa Honorary Rotary Honor Flight. WVUA anchor Terry Brewer and chief photographer Jerome Davis went to D.C. with the honor flight. We will bring you reports over the next few days of the sights and sounds from the veterans' trip to Washington. And stay tuned in the weeks to come as we will bring you a WVUA special report from the honor flight from today. Well, the third and what's likely to be the final Tuscaloosa Rotary Honor Flight lifted off this weekend. Once again, Alabama's home team was proud to travel along with this group of World War II veterans to bring you a look at their emotional day. Honor Flight is a national program that takes veterans to see the memorials dedicated to their service in Washington, D.C. They get a hero's welcome along the way, and it's all at no cost to the veterans. The Rotary Club of Tuscaloosa organized Tuscaloosa's three flights. It's a day trip from Tuscaloosa to Washington and back. About 60 veterans traveled on Saturday's flight, and the three Tuscaloosa flights together have taken nearly 250 veterans to Washington. The members of the flight say it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I'm, I'm amazed. Everybody that met us, they saluted us, shook our hands. Oh, I'll never, I'll always remember that special, this is a special moment in my life. I read an article before coming here that over a, a thousand World War II veterans die every day. And I have to tell you, my heart skipped a beat because my father is in that category. But it did help to really highlight how special this event was for the two of us to have the chance to come here today. When the veterans touched down at Bama Air Saturday night, they returned to a hero's welcome, complete with patriotic music and a water salute and cheering family and friends. In 2010, the Tuscaloosa Rotary held its first two honor flights. Nearly 200 veterans who served mostly in World War II were part of the two day trips from Tuscaloosa to Washington, D.C. to see the memorials dedicated to their service. The veterans get a hero's welcome along the way, and it's all at no cost to the veterans. 
This Saturday, the third Tuscaloosa Rotary Honor Flight will take off from Bama Air in Tuscaloosa. Jordan Plaster is the head of the Tuscaloosa Rotary Honor Flight Committee. He's here to share more about Honor Flight and how you can be part of honoring the veterans this weekend. Jordan, thank you so much. Well, thank you so much for having us on the program, and we appreciate all the uh, publicity you've given the Honor Flight program. Well, and I certainly appreciate, um, of course, our viewers know that I, we have been uh, privileged enough to fly along with you on the past two Honor Flights and have just enjoyed it so much and I feel honored to get to spend the day with these veterans and so Jordan this Saturday uh, you all will take uh, dozens of veterans up to uh, Washington DC what's the point of this trip well the point is is to take a World War II veteran which the youngest today is around 84 years of age and they don't really have the ability to make the trip today on their own uh, this is a way for them to come together uh, as a group and, and go out onto the uh, memorial site, see all the memorial. And what's really great, people see the group coming towards them and they want to greet them and they want to thank them for their service to our country. Yeah, it's really uh, emotional to see that and for those veterans to have that experience together is really neat. And Jordan, you all actually have some spaces, a few spaces left for Saturday's trip. That's correct. We're taking around 150 people this time. Uh, including a little over 60 World War II veterans. And at the last minute, we do have four or five extra spots. So if there's a World War II veteran in your viewing area that would be interested, we, uh, we will uh, feel your call. All right, and we're going to give the phone number. It's on your screen. If you know somebody that is a World War II veteran, there's space still available, 205-759-9534 is the number to call. Also, there will be a big welcome home ceremony for the veterans on Saturday night at Bama Air. And Jordan, you all want lots of people to come out to that. That is correct. We hope that you will come out. It's uh, out at Bama Air. Uh, that's at 4800 Quarter Drive on this side of the municipal airport. Uh, please come out. We will arrive approximately 715. Uh, in the evening, so if you get there 6.30 or 7, that'll be fine. Yeah, we've got some information uh, we want to share with you, too. If you want to come out and welcome home these veterans, it's Saturday night, as Jordan said, at Bama Air. And if you want to come out and welcome them home, arrive from about 6.30 to 7 p.m. It's a great night, and we've got more information about Honor Flight on our website, WVUATV.com, and we'll be bringing you more coverage of this. Jordan, thank you so much, and good well, luck with the trip on Saturday. Well, thank you so much, and we look forward to the trip. Absolutely.